Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Today, I will speak about the importance of others. In your awakening process, you rise higher and higher in your spiritual vibration. And as you rise higher and higher, you leave many friends behind. See yourself climbing a mountain and all the cities are behind villages, the lights below in the dark, you can see them glimmering at night. So many people down below and you are climbing the mountain of ascension. And so many friends started a journey with you, but now you feel yourself single out, singled out, special, alone, reaching the divine, reaching God, reaching the top of the mountain, unifying, uniting with their Creator. And the closest friends, they cannot keep up with you because you're going so high, so fast, so alone, and you are looking inside, meditating, focusing inside. The outside world, the outside illusion is not important for you anymore. And many of you at that state feel stuck. Not all, but some of you feel stuck with health issues, ability to progress forward on your journey, and with finances. Hmm. So what the way to unstuck. What's the way to get unstuck? What is the way to not be so lonely? What's the way to fix your finances and health? You know that everyone in this illusion, all others, all friends are the reflections of you and reflections of God. You know that they are the same as you, same substance, same matter, same vibration, same source energy. It is just another image of the Creator. So why to remove all of them from your life? My advice is value others. Get back to others. Reunite with the others. Reconnect to them. First, the healers. Sometimes you, 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 can, you can be a wonderful healer, but often, sometimes, often, sometimes, in some times, <laughs> you need the help of others to progress with your healing. That is...
one of unique qualities of the Earth illusion. On Earth, you're forced by the rules of the game to be dependent on others. Only others can give you keys. Yes, you are one. Yes, you are made of the same program. Yes, you are dreaming the same dream, but in Earth Illusion, when you are playing down below on Earth, the rules of the game, you cannot do it alone. You got to get some help from others. Then you can progress. And that is with healing, that is with finances, that is with your spiritual progress. Look at your friends, your former friends. Some come, but many go. Because why? Because they don't deserve to be your friends? Because they are undeveloped? Because they didn't like you much enough? Because they did you wrong? Because there was something wrong with them? Or because there was something wrong with you? Are they friends because they like you or are they friends because you like them? It is you who withdrew your support of them. It is you who decided that they are not worth enough. It's you who restricted your love to them. You didn't like them anymore because they didn't fit in your criteria. And your criteria became stricter and stricter and stricter and higher and higher and higher. The demands, only God could be your friend. Only the Creator could be your friend. Only a saint could be your friend. Only the highest of yogis, the highest of saints, the highest of magicians could be your friend. Or maybe not. They maybe are not worth enough. Maybe they are not clean enough to be your friends. <laughs> right? 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 <laughs> Do you see the point? It's up to you to bring people back in your circle by relaxing your criteria, by forgiving them their weaknesses, their evilness, their negativity, their limitations. Because you became much higher, people wouldn't become much higher either. You either can start searching, screening more people and finding the ones that finally are worthy. Or relax your criteria and accept those people who like you, who want to be with you because you are shining. See, anybody can give you keys to healing. Anybody can give you keys to spiritual progression, to the progress of your spiritual growth. It doesn't have to be a saint, a sage, a magician. Anybody, an old man, a child, a middle-aged person, anybody. All of them carry the keys for your healing and for your spiritual progression. And some of them carry the keys for your financial prosperity. And those most likely don't fit your criteria of perfection. And the prosperity, abundance, financial stability. Realize if you withdrew, if you withdraw from the flow of money, the flow of substance, the flow of the illusion of prosperity, then you are withdrawn from the flow. The only way to come back in the flow is to come back in the flow. I invite you. 
kindly. Now as you are awakened, and you are awakened, as you are awakened, part of you got to step down from the mountain, down below, start walking back. Big leaps, jump back, jump back into the villages, into the cities. Come back into the mainstream flow of life. It's all an illusion, you know that. And these people are all reflections of you and reflections of God. They are all images of God. Not because God is a human, but because their nature is of the Creator. Mother, daughter, Creator. Any gender Creator. The Creator is reflected in all of them and in animals, and in insects, and in crocodiles, anywhere. It's all the reflection, all the reflection. So now, as you are awakened, I invite you to come down and be successful both in physical life, illusion, and the illusion of physical life. You still are playing this game of physical life. Be successful in your physical life. And in your spiritual progression, spiritual ascension, spiritual journey. Be successful on both journeys, spiritual and physical. Don't dive too much into the negativity of the physical life. It takes practice. It takes skills to survive down below in the city, in the jungle of the city. The energies are not pure, you know that. So now as you are pure, to go down you have to develop skills of protection, skills of survival, skills of keeping your fire high while dealing with the negativity. How do you do that? You value the others. You understand the purpose. Why do you come down? Why do you come down? Why? There are many choices for you here what to do. But you have the fire, so use that fire. One choice is to be healthier energized, energized in your physical health, which is linked mysteriously to your finances. It is linked mysteriously to your finances. To progress in your spiritual upgrades, you need the keys, you need the program downloads for your spiritual upgrades. And surprise, you can get them down below in the city, down below in the suburbs down below with humans, in the tribe. Some humans carry those programs, the keys, they are channels, conduits for the programs to be downloaded to you. And also there is a choice of higher level is to serve the harmonization of the illusion of the earth life, to serve the harmonization of the earth's illusion, to serve the harmonization of the illusion. And then when you do that, you respect not only the good ones, not only the saints, not only the positive ones, not only the children, not only the clean ones, you start respecting everybody. From a certain higher perspective, you respect the negativity. Because it's all one illusion. All one masterpiece game. All one computer game. Created by many. Billions, trillions, enormous number of creators beings, reflections of Creator, 
working to support this illusion. It's a wonderful training ground, boot camp for the souls. And you volunteer to be here. Appreciate the beauty of the creation, which involves yin and yang, and all colors of rainbow, and black and white, and darkness and light. All is a part of this illusion. All has a harmonious place in this illusion. And yes, the earth illusion is in a crisis, but this is not a crisis of dying. It's a crisis of transformation, of ascension. So you volunteered as a soul to be here to help healing and transforming this illusion. Now volunteer as a united being, physical, ego mind, and spiritual mind, all together, united in you. You can volunteer to help their transformation, the shift of this illusion to a higher, more harmonious state. How can you understand and respect the darkness? I will remind you through a couple of through a couple of illustrations. You see, when you become too pure, when you become too isolated from others, you develop the extreme righteousness. And the righteousness is an extreme disbalance. Righteousness is an extreme. You go in certain direction too far. That's called extreme. Too far. Of course you want to be right. Of course you want to be right. Of course you want to be successful. But if you are too right, too proper in your scene of things, if you just see the one side of situation, then your view is one-sided. And usually it is limiting, limiting, limiting your choices, limiting your understanding, limiting your energy, your ability to heal, your ability to progress when you are stuck in an extreme of understanding. If you like only these kind of aliens and not all other kinds of aliens, if you trust only this kind of friends and not all other kinds of friends, if you are too much into certain religious belief or too much in certain habit pattern, lifestyle, musical style, it's only one-sided view. I invite you to embrace more, to expand more, to respect multiple views at the same time. It's called plurality. Ambivalence, plurality. When you respect yin and yang, good and bad, because from certain high perspective, certain high perspective, they are all valuable all value because they all allow the existence of this illusion of life they all are the components of the construct illusionary construct of earth experience earth life the life here there is one story which illustrates this righteousness you know it well There was a boy and there was a father. And the boy was sick and then he recovered. And the father told him to do something and the boy didn't listen. 
So father repeated it louder and the boy didn't listen. So father became upset that the boy doesn't listen, so he spanked him. And only later he realized the boy lost his hearing and he's deaf. He cannot hear anymore. So the rest of his life, the father was sorry about his righteousness, his inability to see the other, the point of the other, to understand the situation completely from all every side. He was righteous from his traditional perspective, but his traditional perspective was wrong in the larger perspective. So you have to rise above, rise above your righteousness to see a bigger, a bigger perspective. Same in the family. If you are in the family, you see individuals. If you rise above the family, you see one family. Same with the planet, if you are on the ground, you see many individuals, many countries, many continents, many islands, many oceans. When you rise above, you see one. You see the value of everybody. Everybody and everything. Everyone. So being on the mountain, climbing high in your spiritual progression, and at the same time being down below, playing with others, respecting the others, exchanging the energies, exchanging the favors, exchanging love with others. At the same time, up there, single and seeing everyone as one, seeing everyone as being part of you, seeing everyone as being part of the Creator. And down below, seeing, seeing the multiplicity, seeing the separateness, seeing others. At the same time, playing on both levels, up and down, high and low. I invite you to step back into life, step back into the flow and carry your light in a healthy way down below. Hello, hello, hello. I invite comments, questions. Uh, yeah, what, what you say is quite fit my own situation. Uh, I, I, I was seeing the things again through the hypnosis state and I, 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 feel, uh, I feel lonely. I, I feel insecure because I am always alone. And uh, yes, but, but right now it's okay, and uh, I I feel I am quite different with things around, and uh, I, I don't feel any connection with them because, because I operate like that always. Say again the last thing, the last I, few words. Uh, I operate like that. Mm -hmm. Can you can you create a question, or do you want me just to reflect on what you said? Uh, ah, yeah, yes, yes. What, 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 what your your teaching was quite fit my own situation. I see that. Yes, and. Uh, uh, I, I mentioned um, I, I was quite kind of alone. In yes, the I understand that. And uh, I'd like to know more actually about myself uh, as a star seeds, as a rainbow children. And uh, uh, yeah, 
especially as Darcy's, uh, how much percent of uh, ET genetic I have? That information is inaccessible to me, but it is high. Very, very high, right? Moderately high. Uh, how much you percent? in the middle percentile. Say 50th, per 50th percentile. Not percent, but percentile. What's that? Mm, just Google it. Percentile. Percentile, okay. Uh, how much percent uh, as a human being uh, are in? You are a typical star seed. Not extreme, but typical. That's what I'm saying. You're a typical star seed. You mean, I mean, you are, in huge extent, you are a human. And in big extent, you are both genetically and spiritually connected to the aliens. Humanoid aliens of mental type. Which group of aliens I have a, a deep connection with? Because the Earth is an illusion and Earth life is an illusion, you have a choice who to connect, to connect with. How do you feel about military service? What's your relationship to military service? No, no, no. You don't like it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What yes. is your relationship with hierarchy? Hierarchy, the... Uh, structure of um, human hierarchical structure of human society no connection do you respect the hierarchy i have no idea about them do you respect the empire idea of empire and government empire as empire of government right um do you respect the idea of kingdoms Ancient King kingdoms. Do you respect ancient kingdoms? Yes. Uh, the, the system sometimes goes well, sometimes not. But, but, but it's okay. I see. Hmm. Uh, so, do you feel? Uh, do you feel? How would you feel about the hive mind? About the humans being united in one mind and being all together in one mind that will be perfect because there will be no any misunderstanding by that way i see so look into their alien cultures which have high minds most famous ones are Grays, different kind of grays, but not only grays have hive minds. There are other cultures that have hive minds. Which group? You know, there are many, many groups of gray. Maybe tall grays, maybe yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't have hive minds, but they have uh, they have collective consciousness. They have in strong individual consciousness, but also their collective consciousness is much stronger than others, than other okay. races. Okay. So yeah. possibly yeah, yeah. that could be Yael or, or Zeta grace or other kind of grace. Okay, Yael and Zeta will, will, be, uh, will, will be great. And uh, I'd like to know more about my personality as a, a ET personality and a human personality. To do that, you need humans to interact with other humans and listen to what they talk, tell you about you. How do, how do they reflect back to you, your personality? You need um, friends and yes, distant friends, uh, acquaintances. Yes, one, one of my, uh, friend, one of my friends, uh, she actually learned about life code yes. and she 
Yeah, she, 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 uh, uh, her name is Ding Chun Lan, and uh, uh, she, she knows very much deeply about myself. She strongly suggests me to to become a religious on Earth. What does that mean? You said religious? Yes, she suggests me, strongly suggests me to become a religious. What is religious? Of be to, to believe in, uh, in religion. I see. So he su suggests me to believe in uh, is it, is it uh, Tao, Tao, Taoism or Buddhism? I understand. You see, your approach is mental. When you study religions, Taoism and Buddhism, it is great. And you would start, through to, due to your nature, you would start from mental learning, mental understanding their sayings. But to really expand your nature, you need to go from your mind to your heart, from mental understanding, from logical discernment into their intuitive side of it. And to do that, there are multiple ways. One of them is, of course, meditation. Meditation is when you turn off your mental mind, when you turn off your logical side, you silence the language of the mind, you silence their logistics, their calculation part of your mind. But it's another part of the mind which is called, often called subconscious and superconscious and unconscious, which doesn't use logic, doesn't use words, doesn't use calculations. It works on vibrational level as waves. It is more fluid, more like flame rather than digital machine. It's not digital, it is waves and uh, vortexes and flow of ideas. So, so that how, part of mind, the heart mind, needs so, to be developed. Yes, what did you want to say? Uh, so how about getting to myself a hypnosis state called ultra depths? Yes, is, is that yes that's, meditation is just another word for self-hypnosis. Meditation is just another word for self-hypnosis. There are yes, uh, minor differences, but it is about the same. So I, I, like, I like to know about uh, hypnosis states called a coma state. And uh, yeah, please tell more about information about coma state first or estel state. Coma state or estel state. What is the second one? Uh, no, 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 they are saying coma state and is that all called the self state that they are saying? Is that self state? I don't understand the words. Is still state? That is self is self. Uh, forget about it. You just call coma state. Hmm. I'm not so, familiar with coma state in meditation. That is. Soma state in a uh, Hindu tradition, which means uh, deep, me deep meditative state. What's that? Is that helpful to me? You want to be healthy and want to remain in society. You want to continue your function. So I suggest go gradually. Don't dive too bravely too far. Mm -hmm. Because you are not fully protected. You are somewhat new to earth. And it takes practice, repeated practice. And every time you go a little bit deeper, every time a little bit deeper, but every time make sure you come back. So it is okay to become still and stiff and not thinking, but not for a long time. Program yourself for half an hour meditation, not for longer. You can do, in a healthy way, 
two meditations of half an hour a day, not longer. Two meditations of half hour. And program yourself to gradually come back from that meditation. And it, instead of do, making them longer, make them more healthy. You really can learn how to turn off your mind and go into the heart state where your whole body is vibrating in harmony with the spirit, vibrating in harmony with the spirit. And you know that you did it right when you come back and you feel healed. And it usually it takes another half an hour to come back to normal state, but you are awake and relaxed. And when you feel that after that hour, half hour of meditation and half hour of coming back, you are healthier and more energized in a positive way, then you do it right. So it is an art of doing self-hypnosis to come back in right timing and come back with more energy and more understanding. Before you go down or up, before you go into the meditation, ask simple questions like the ones you ask me. And when you come out, expect to have answers. So it is both for healing, energization, and learning. Their meditative state with no thinking gives you the answers when you come back. And it gives you the answers not through digital calculation, but through intuition. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like to know more about information about uh, ultra depth. Uh, state because I, 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 I'm hard to find uh, detail and information online and uh, I, I'd like to know about how, what's the ordinary person feel in this uh, state or what, what kind of things a ordinary person can experience. Yes. Um what is your preferable way of uh, studying online? Reading or watching YouTube? Well, watch YouTube, but, but, it's, 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 but there are many, many things that they, they, they tell different. They tell things differently. I have no much idea. There is no much information on YouTube about this. I suggest. Browse more of YouTube videos. You don't have to watch it from the beginning to the end, every video. Just pick the ones which give you a good feeling. And watch the videos about meditation and about awakening and about spiritual growth from uh, people who share their own experience. Not from the teachers, but from people who share their own experience in meditation. That would be my advice. Uh, actually, I like to use this to help other people to heal automatically without any memory regression. And uh, I need to know exactly the procedure or the, I need to describe the feelings or the situation, what will happen during the state, and uh, I will guide them to into the ultra depth state, they will heal very, very fast and uh, they can do anything during this state. The idea to become a healer is wonderful. I support it. The way you're going to heal them would be your personal best way. And sometimes quick is best and sometimes slow is more optimal. So don't focus on the speed, how fast the healing goes. Sometimes the person needs to change their values, to change their look, outlook on their life, to change their perception of themselves. So the healing is often requires for the patient to awaken, to the, for the healing to take place. Just doing the healing as a miracle is uh, of limited value. The healing is good when the patient 
transforms in a healthier look on life, and then they heal themselves. So, okay, thank you. What is the uh, original blueprint as a star seeds or as a soul uh, on Earth? I don't understand why you're asking that. Because I, I read a book called Journey of Soul. Yes. That, that's, that's very helpful to understand that as a, uh, as a, there must be a, a plan, I think. Yes. So although I can change a plan all, all the time. Yes. Well, so I'd like to know what's the uh, origin, uh, ori or origin plan. Let me try to answer your question, although it's very cryptic. So the, each soul develops its own plan for the life, and each, each soul has its own ideas what to do in life. Some yes. of the alien souls that come down below, their main purpose is just to observe and to learn. Now is the time, the most interesting time. These years are the most interesting time in the Earth history and maybe in the galactic history because it is a triggering point, the tipping point, the point of change in the direction, which later will affect the whole galaxy. It is the tipping point, it is the crux point, the crossing point where the whole history changes, the whole game changes for the whole galaxy. So just being and seeing that, observing that is sufficient. So you might be just an observer, but to observe and understand, someone needs to participate, because without participation, the alien souls don't have enough understanding how the humanity functions. So only through participation, through getting into the action, someone can observe and understand what is happening. Other souls come here to help the transformation, not only to observe, but to help. Because they carry keys for the transformation, key sequences, key programs, key knowledge, key talents, key connection to other civilizations. So they carry the imprint of their civilization, which would contribute into the transformation, would contribute a certain cornerstone, certain pattern, certain missing piece. Right now, the Earth is already a mix of many alien cultures. The dogs carry the Syrian idea. The dolphins carry another Syrian idea. The Aryans carry the Orion's idea. The Africans carry the Earth's ancient primal Earth idea. And Lemurian idea. Certain Semites carry certain Syrian and Orion ideas and Pleiadian ideas. The cats and lions, felines, carry certain light on ideas. The military of all countries carry certain reptilian ideas. So these are already carrying certain ideas, but fresh alien souls incarnating on Earth bring more of universal ideas. So the whole galaxy sent representatives to Earth to participate in a shift. And of course, the game is open, so if there is a new opportunity, you can apply on a spiritual level, request an expansion or change of your agenda, change of your plan for life, mm -hmm. and take on a new goal and receive new resources for that, spiritual resources. 
So what's the piece, last of plan I lived? Um, may I interfere? Is, is it, Yogananda, can I please interfere? Go <laughs> ahead, yes, Sakina, yes. Yeah, um, you, you, Shane, uh, you know, you can have a private interview with uh, Yogananda, right? I see. Because I see. There are other people who want to take their turn. Okay, so okay. Let me complete. Let me complete. Okay. That information that you ask is not accessible at the moment. Okay. But I continued for a long time, Sakina, I continued for a long time with Hui because the answers to him are very universal and they should be accept useful relevant to everyone participating everyone to participate yes um let me complete with this hold on a second i invite you Hoi, to expand your friendship with people and expand your service to people. Find people who need you. Maybe you don't like them, but if they like you, that is sufficient. And see the ways how you can serve to people. You are now at the stage of learning. And the path for you, as I see it now, is as a teacher. But to become a teacher, you first need to learn. And to become a healer, you first need to be healed. So look for healers and teachers and see how we can serve people. And that is the lifelong journey of learning, being healed, healing, and teaching. Mm -hmm. Healing and teaching, these are the main qualities which I see at the moment. Okay. Thank you for your questions. They were very nice, very helpful Thank for others as well. Thank you, Fernanda. Uh, Sakina, do you want to be next? Uh, well, um, well, when it gets, uh, conversation gets very mental, I get, uh, I get uncomfortable. I see. Allah, Yahanna, keep breathing. Om Smile, I'm with you. Smile, keep breathing. Let me connect to your heart. Everyone, let me connect to your heart. Allah All right, Sakina, what is your question for today? What's what did you bring today? I I am not sure. <laughs> I let other people ask. Um, oh, wonderful! Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Om Mahana Om. Ayana. Smile, smile. It's for you to take it easy. I cannot take it easy for you. I can only offer. Yeah. It's for you to see the humor of the situation. It's funny. It is funny. Well, I, yeah, this is one thing. I'm, uh, I'm, this happiness, I'm, that sense of joy somehow, you know. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I need Too to serious. get back to joy. Yes, yes, joy, yes. Too serious. Take it easy. It's all funny. Smile. <laughs> I really want to get back to my joyful state that I used to be. You know? ah, so, right. It's up to you to light it up. You see, just light it up. Light it up. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a choice. It is a choice. Yeah. You can just choose to be happy or choose to be worried. Okay. I, I work on that. And... Uh, um, also, yesterday when we had the session with Max, yes, you were there, right? And you came and you 
allowed Baba to come in, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and so Bob, uh, when Baba was, when I asked him about my court case, he, he didn't, uh, he said, what, you know, he was asking about it as though he was not familiar, but that's not Baba. Baba knows everything. So, you know, and uh, so I'm not sure. It's really hard to find somebody to get Baba, right? Um, I'm, I'm, is Jim good at conveying complete that? Because I asked Max, and Max says that he cannot convey everything that Baba uh, conveys. So, what, what, what can I have you, and then you talk to Baba and give me the answers? Or um, I, I don't know how to reach Baba. <laughs> Pamela is there, but it takes a long time for, uh, you know, to get an interview with her. I don't know, what can I do? I'm, I, I would like to reach myself, but I've not been able to do it, you know. I'm, what can I do? You see? There is a saying. Hmm. Everyone gets an extent he believes. Everyone gets an extent he believes. As you question as you doubt, we reflect to you your doubt. <laughs> you are asking for a miracle. You are saying, give me a miracle. Give me a real Baba with all knowing. And how much does it cost to get all information at once? <laughs> right. As it really depends on the energetic development, energetic flow, energetic exchange. Max is a beginner channeler. We come to him and his karma allows only that much to pass through the channel. The miracle is happening, but only at the extent which is permitted. We can give you healing, we can give you advice, but not the demonstration of miracles. We can give you healing and advice, but you're asking for more, you're asking for confirmations. Confirmations are not frequently delivered through this channel. Confirmations are limited by karma of people involved. But if there is a critical situation, yes, more will be allowed. Right now, what you get is corresponds to how much you believe and how much you can take. Okay, I, I got it. So even if you were to answer me, it would be the same thing through yes, math. You know, think, it limited. could be different, could be the same. But if you ask for things which is really which really matters, we can deliver more. If you ask for proving that we are who we are, then we can give you less. That's the rules of the game here. Uh, no, I, I totally, uh, with you, I know when I when you're chatting, I know it is you because I felt the love through through Max. Here you go. Here it yeah. is. The yeah. more you love, the more you feel it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll let uh, other people ask. Thank you so much, Yogananda. I appreciate it. Let me give you a little uh, piece of love. Everyone, we'll do a little meditation here. Breathe in. Hold for a second. And breathe out fully, fully, release, 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 release. Keep breathing at your pace. 
deeply and slowly. Let me connect to your heart. I'm entering into your heart. I am in your heart. The love of the Creator is yours. It's here. It is with you. The flame of the source is yours. It's here. It's with you. And now let me purge the darkness from your heart. Just one purge. On, on the count zero, I will give you a blow of wind to purge the darkness. Three, two, one. And once more. Three, two, one. Connect to your childhood, connect to your inner child, connect to the baby you were. Connect to your mother, loving mother, the milk of your mother, the love of your mother, the energy of the mother. Connect to the Divine Mother, the milk of the Divine Mother, the source energy of the Divine Mother, the water vibration of the Divine Mother. And with that, we continue. One, two, three. All right, next question. Let's share it. Yogananda, can you hear me? Hey. Hold on, let me get my... Oh, correct. <laughs> Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, could I just ask about elephants? Because I yes. seem to have a huge big hell of elephant uh, in the background who never says anything. He just hangs around. <laughs> I think he's been there my whole life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I was wondering if it was related also to perhaps the Indian or well, India. It feels like in Ganesha vibration yes, in India. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your understanding of the elephant energy? Um. They've got great wisdom. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I could guess the rest, but um, they, um, I haven't really investigated a whole lot. I've always wanted to just ask you this, that question and find out. Um, I do know once you did address um, somebody else, they also had the elephant in the background, and that person I connected to as well. And we do seem to have the same connections. Um, but this, this elephant feels very bluish gray. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody once said that it's my husband, <laughs> which is a little bit crazy for me. But the, the um, attributes and aspects of what an elephant rep represents is somewhat 
I don't, I don't know. Perhaps courage. And it's a deep One of the things wound. that elephants represent is child. Oh, the really? Elephants are huge children. Right. That makes sense, yes. <laughs> They're huge children. There is kindness, the kindness of the little girl in every elephant. Or there is wow. a little baby which is not angry anymore. Uh, no, not the right word. No, not angry yet. Not selfish yet. There is that kindness of a baby in elephants. And lots of love of the creator in the elephants. They feel like they are loved babies. Even the huge old elephants, they are still loved babies. Beautiful. There is that mm, playfulness in them, that kindness of a baby. They are not corrupted. They are not predators. They are not corrupted by negativity. They are still very much like loving babies who are not yet who have not yet met the predator side of the human society or predator side of the earth they can be angry but only through protection they are very protective and loving so they when they become angry is because they're protecting someone or somewhat important mm -hmm. So they, they have um, solidified their own innocence, in a sense. Yes, 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 innocence, yes. Yes, that's beautiful. So is this um, kind, of, kind of like a guide to me? It is the energy which wants to unite with you. Yeah, it's the guide feel which it. wants to be more of you, which right. is something that you attract to be in the power to be fully protected to be fully connected to the source energy with the innocence yes. with the kindness and caring beautiful and self-sufficiency they are caring but in all other respects they are self-sufficient they're not looking for somebody's approval. They're not looking for popularity. They are self-sufficient in that way. They're caring mm -hmm. and self-sufficient at the same time. Innocent, caring, and self-sufficient. Beautiful. <laughs> so and I learned to do about myself. Go ahead. No, as I said, I learned a little bit about myself through that because I am a lot like that, you know, and I've got the, this elephant has been with me my whole life. Mm -hmm. And Ganesha yeah. is loved through many qualities, for many qualities, mm -hmm. but one of the major ones is he is a removal of the obstacles. He is go through the obstacles with ease because he's so supported so yeah. loved and so innocent he just ignores them just goes through the obstacles with ease without getting angry just through them yeah <laughs> beautiful thank you for that thank you is there anybody next? Is there anybody next? Uh, there are others in the room, but they are not unmuting. Let's see. Jan? Marianne? Karen? Hello, Yogananda. This is Mary Ann. 
Yeah, when you talked about your topic tonight, today was very wonderful <laughs> because I have also been sort of, as I go up the mountain, I've been backing off from certain relationships because I don't want to judge. It's a balance. I don't want to judge and I don't want to listen to their the other <laughs> their talk, the talk, because I'm leaving this kind of behind me and uh, take some balance, you know, um, but then you do get, you're going, wow, wonder what they're doing because I'm not communicating with them or I'm not do engaged with them as much. It's like I bump into some friends or, you know, in the past, uh, just not connecting. And even if I go to lunch with uh, a group of women <laughs> once a month, I you know, I used to be so excited about the spirituality and I used to talk about it, but they thought I was odd. So I don't talk about it. I say a few words and I listen to them. But I'm not judging them. I mean, if I was uncomfortable meeting with them even once a month. Now I'm going, well, they have a right to that. It's, it's all fine. Everybody's where they should be. And I can only say a few things if they ask. I'm not going to spill all, all my enthusiastic spiritual wisdom on, you know, through, through me, through them, because they're not comfortable with that. So I'm learning to balance that. But I do not, you know, I know I don't want to judge, and I don't want their thoughts coming into me and affecting me. That's, that's why I think I, that's why I'm, my, I'm protecting myself. I feel I'm protecting myself. Yes, but protection I also, is important, yes. yes. Yes, but I also need, I need to be more engaged like that, to be more engaged. If I bump into people on my walks with the dogs and I get these um, wonderful, you know, and I engage in them and I do end up telling them a few things and I can tell whether they want me to talk about it or not. And I also bump into people who on the street, I don't know any, I don't know them. Right, I think I don't yes, know them. Yes, and, yes, uh -huh. and I, I have these spiritual encounters with people. Yes, which, yeah, which is it's, you need it. You need to bounce off where you're at with, you know, your with this world. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it is a balance, and and um, I appreciate um, talking about it. I think it, you know, being it's it's a reality. Okay, we all let, me, let me reflect on what you said. Yeah. You are on a journey, and you wonder what's the next step in this journey, how it is related to your departing from your friends, how it is related to your meeting uh, random people on the street and getting connected to them for a short while and getting some spiritual exchange with them at random connections. Why your constant connections don't give you what you get at random connections. See a bit in the future as you grow up to a couple more levels of spiritual upgrades, a couple more levels when your body becomes more integrated, when your spirit becomes more integrated, when there is more layers of your spiritual upgrades, when you get closer to the teachers get closer to ascended masters. See them, see those who have done it, who have made it. How did they relate to humans and how did they relate to the people of your energetic power and to people of lower energetic power? You see, from certain perspective, you're all equal. From certain perspective, you're all interested. And from certain perspective, you are insufficiently developed for some higher level beings. But they find talking to you still interesting, right? Why? So now when you go to a lunch with ladies, <laughs> if you are strong enough, if you are bright enough, if you are loving enough, it doesn't really matter if they listen to you or not. It doesn't even matter if you speak or not, you see? Just listening to them and connecting to them on the vibration of their voice, no matter what they say, is sufficient 
for you to experience the depth of their predicament and mm. to send them healing without saying a word mm. and resolving their troubles without saying the word because your circle becomes a model of the earth you see you can help ascension by sitting there and listening and loving the circle by making the connection between this circle and their sphere by sphere of humanity on earth and seeing all the conflicting tribes on earth and through love silently healing all of them and bringing in harmony to all of them because when you are shining with love you don't have to say a word and then you don't have to be listened you don't have to be heard because you work on a spiritual level so you don't need to move a finger only the heart work, the body work, you being an antenna for the divine love. You don't even have to be sending the love to yourself. You're just a channel, channeling the love, healing love to the humanity through the bodies in the circle. They just serve as surrogate antennas for transmitting the love and harmony to the humanity. I see, yeah, I, I uh, understand. And then the healing to individuals could be done through questions. When they say something, I hate that, and then say, why? Or maybe <laughs> a little bit more polite. Like, Tell me more about this, something like that. And that is sufficient. You don't need to teach them in any more way rather than picking on their mm, vulnerable points where they are capable of transforming. Each of them is going through their journey and you mm -hmm. have gone through their journey so you might reflect in the points where their journey has an opportunity for growth. So see those opportunities for growth on their level and sometimes you can say something or sometimes you can just feel something and they're all telepathic, they all feel that. So when you get the answer, it will get to them, maybe not right away, but most likely by the end of the day, and very likely, you know, by tomorrow, they will get it. What you thought, they will get it. So just seeing the lesson in your mind, they will get it soon, because once it's in your mind, it will infect them telepathically. Yes, I get it. I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions from your side? Or sharings? I have a, I have a question or a comment. Can I? Hey, Karen. Okay, hi. So, Mariana, thank you. Karen, hi. Hi. I just want to say I, I've been following uh, the work of you, Yogananda, for a, l a large part of my life. And uh, it was a very big um, awakening for me when I read Biography of Yogi. And uh, yeah, so it's always standing on my shelf and I, and I refer to it often. And thank you for your incarnation and, and also for coming back to talk to us. So it's a great honor. To be able to talk to you in, uh, in Thank this. Thank you. The book was a transformation for me as well. And it was unique in a way that I couldn't write anything similar before or after. It was a special state, special collective effort where we created it and it was a gem which I couldn't reproduce later. I was thankful for the gift which was given to me. I was also inspired because you were also a child that wanted to know God and, and didn't stop uh, in your pursuit of that. And that was always, that was inspirational because I had the same, so, as a child, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, you see, I always was childish. I always <laughs> was eager, childish, and angry for that spiritual knowledge. Even when I was a big teacher, respected teacher, I still was a child. And hungry and eager to to get more of it, to get more of 
<laughs> more of that please but anyway I just want to send you much love and say thank you and, and uh, that was it really oh thank you thank you namaste uh, are there any questions before we do the final meditation I think Jan had, was present do you have any questions Jan Okay, let's do the final meditation. Relax, sit comfortably, lay down comfortably, release things, relax. Take a deep breath, hold it and smile. And breathe out your smile. Now, Take another breath and breathe out your smile. Smile is a certain vibration of energy, which is love in high concentration. So smile is love in high concentration. Send out, send it out. Now smile to yourself. Smile and breathe it in and send a smile into yourself. High concentration of love high intensity of love right going into your heart and keep breathing deeply and consciously relax into smile relax into understanding of the humor of the joke of the creator it's all a joke it's all a laughter the waves of the ocean is a laughter of the creator, mother, daughter, creator. We'll do a little self reiki right now. Help me by placing your fingers on your crown. I will send some energy through your fingers to your crown, receive it, and when you feel the energy, when you feel the energy, amplify, accept and amplify it. How do you recognize it? It should feel like a little electric flow, like a little buzz in your skull, in the bone. The purpose of this is healing, energization, and harmonization of the oscillations in your bone, skull, crystal. Now move down to your ears and touch the ears and the bone around the ears. Your ears are bombarded with conflicting information. Let's clear that conf conflict out. The pain of listening to negativity, we clear it out. You want to be able to hear what we say to you you want to be able to hear what other people say to you so become vulnerable <laughs> vulnerable again become receptive again become listening again you are capable of hearing you should be able to transform be ready to transform transformation is the way to survive the transformation is the way to progress. The transformation is the way to survive and progress. And you need to be able to accept the teaching which comes through here. Shh. 
invite angelics, we invite angelics to help with your healing transformation, to open the gates of your transformation through healing. Allah, ya, angelic singers, angelic chorus. Allah, ya, oh my, ya, oh my. Allah, ya, oh my, Allah, 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 ya, oh my. Now move your hands and rub them around your jaw and throat. That is the way of expression. That is the way of accepting food. That is the way of being able to accept, to process your food, to bite and chew and accept. It is your language capacity. It is your tone and lips, your ability to speak, your throat, your glands, your vertebrae connected to the spirit world of humanity. The vibration of the spirit world the speech, the self-expression, you clear your ability to communicate, because it is being blocked by the social structure, social conventions. They teach you speak and then they teach you keep silent. They teach you speak and then they teach you to restrict your speech. They teach you speak and then they polish your ability and compress your ability to express yourself, restrict your ability to express yourself through voice and singing and speaking. So now we clear up the darkness, clear up the blockages. We want to harmonize your expression. So it reaches others in the most beneficial way. You have things to say. You have your own message to deliver to others. You work on that. I send you the vibration through your fingers and through your palms. I send you the vibration of healing. <laughs> Allamahana ya hamma, hammahana, anna ya hamma hamma ham, hamma hamma, hamma 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 hamma. the sound of insects. It's all here. The sound of birds. Coming to heal you. Coming to open your throat chakra. Coming to harmonize your throat chakra. Coming to harmonize your blueprint. I mean to release your darkness, release the blockages in your throat, in your speech, in your teeth, in your jaws, in your gums, in, in your tongue and lips, in your vertebrae. <sighs> Shh. 
there's a connection to your spirit ancestors giving energy to you, clarifying, clearing the connection. It's for you to accept. Say, I accept, I accept, I accept. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And coming back to your heart, put your palms on your heart and accept the love. need to turn your microphones just uh, chant with me resonate with me so, jo chant your own sing your own just the sound Thank you for co-creation. Thank you for accepting our love. Thank you for accepting the love of your ancestors. Thank you for accepting love of the insects, reptiles, birds, animals, plants, the planet, the stars, the aliens, the divine mother and daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we're done with that. Thank you, everybody. Much Thank you, Yogananda. Namaste. 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 Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. It was beautiful. Thank you. All right. <laughs>